he looks pretty epic doesn't he but wait till you see the rest there's going to be massive christmas trees small ones weird shaped ones there's an ice skating rink there's christmas themed bars and so much more i'm here in bournemouth to check out their christmas tree wonderland let's go What is so great is that you can come up here, get out of the cold, have a hot chocolate and sit by your own fireplace. So as we leave the big Santa behind us, we're going to walk down through the lower gardens where all the Christmas trees are and then on towards the pier. But before we get there, there's a Christmas market to check out. So let's go and have a look. So the usual kind of fair at the Christmas market. As always, there's got to be Christmas fudge. Oh, Turkish delight. Orange Turkish delight, very nice. Mint Turkish Delight. Ooh. So we're going to see a lot of Christmas trees um, and they start in just a little bit. In fact, um, we're going to see a Christmas tree bar, which is totally insane. And there's, um, there's very few of these around the UK, but Bournemouth does have a pretty epic one. There is also a, uh, an Alpine kind of pop-up bar that has appeared just here to my left hand side. Blimey, when this is wet, when you've got sketches on and you've got no grip, this is slippy as. So there's loads of little market stalls around here, looking very festive. Hot chocolate going on, hog roasts, candles. That's a good little photo op, isn't it? Look at that. So we see one of our first Christmas trees, which is actually part of the uh, the Christmas lights. Yorkshire pudding wraps are definitely a thing this year. Mac and cheese going on. This is the Alpine Lodge that has just popped up. And the best thing about this bar is the fact that you can actually sit in a Christmas bulbul. How cool does that look? So how cool is this though? Look at the theming in here. You do feel like you're somewhere skiing. You don't feel like you're in Bournemouth. There's a sledge up there, some ice skates there. Are these real? I think they are as well, amazing. So that place is pretty amazing. Right, we're gonna start the, uh, the Christmas tree light trail uh, through the lower gardens. A lot of people around tonight. Luckily I've got my extendable pole, so we'll lift this up so you'll be able to see it okay. So this is all in the lower gardens. It stretches down towards the pier and there is some spectacular Christmas trees in here. There is a map to Bournemouth's Christmas Tree Wonderland Trail um, and it starts off, obviously, you can start it at the pier end or obviously around the lower gardens, just up where Bournemouth Square is. And um, some of the trees here are pretty special. You can probably see some of them just in the distance. Can you see those snowflakes in the tree? That's a light image off of that lamppost there. I was wondering how amazingly bright that is. So we start to see a few Christmas trees coming into shot. Um, here on the left hand side, you've got the, uh, the ice skating rink called Skate. Let's go and have a quick look. This is an outside skating rink as well. Once again, love the theming. And there's also a bar in here as well. Look at this. Another Alpine bar. It's quite quiet at the moment. As people just kind of finish off work. What a spectacular Christmas tree. Look at this, how they've made it like a real Alpine lodge. 
There's even a ski on the table there. These look so cosy. It looks like bits of snow on all the chairs. Theming to this is amazing. So obviously this is where you get your skates. And what is different about this ice skating rink, if you look over in the far distance there, the ice skating rink kind of breaks up where you just go through some lights, back out. Now I don't know if these are taken actually from the big wheel that was uh, here in Bournemouth. I'm not quite sure, I don't think they were because of the theming on the side, but uh, this is where you'd go and have a cigarette. <laughs> Random, no window that side. So that's the ice skating rink and we see our first few Christmas trees. And what's amazing is we get to walk under one of the biggest Christmas trees here, which is just in front of us. Obviously this changes color. At the moment, it's uh, kind of red and pink. Wow. What's a nice added touch as well. They've actually got tinsel on it too. So we're inside the Christmas tree. Look at that. I tell you what, there's uh, there's three different alpine areas to go and enjoy. So we've seen two of them. There's another one, literally just through the trees. There, I'll show you that in a little bit. But uh, nice pink Christmas tree. And each individual Christmas tree is sponsored by a different company. That looks good. Even the bandstand is, uh, is lit up tonight too. The sea of Christmas trees. Wow, look at that over there in the distance. I don't know if you can see that now. It's absolutely like completely different colours everywhere. Green, red, yellow, orange. You can actually get even closer to it as well. Just walk around it so you can... Uh, Check it out in its beauty. Even the haystacks are actual gold tinsel. It's amazing. See, I like these little touches they've got. Can you see that? The tree has got snowflakes illuminated onto it moving. Isn't that cool? I love a good blue Christmas tree. In fact, my Christmas tree at home is blue and white. Up here there are some polar bears. Again, you get some lights where they're just kind of a shell, but these are actually covered in white tinsel as well, which um, makes them look even better. More snowflakes being projected onto the pavilion in front of us. And look at this, even more Christmas trees coming up. All these balls that make up a Christmas tree. Tied down by weights and even the weights are decorated with white tinsel. Attention to detail, amazing. Look at that, so pretty. The only thing I would have said, if you had that twinkling as well, that would have been even better. Love this Christmas tree. So we're just walking up towards the pier right now. We need more Christmas trees here on the left. And as you go up here, if you're a big fan of churros, like a proper Christmas Spanish churro takeaway place. Hot chocolate, galaxy hot chocolate there, very nice. So obviously the big wheel used to be here in its place. There's a merry-go-round. In fact, uh, that's going blooming fast for a merry-go-round, or is it me? That's like on double speed. It's like people are gonna fly off that. 
the pier is just there and in front of us is a humongous Christmas bauble that you can actually walk through. <laughs> See, look at this. The sound changes. I don't know if you noticed that, but because of uh, all the white tinsel, amazing. People are queuing up to get their photos. And the Christmas tree down here on the seafront, just opposite the pier. All blue. So just up here on the pavilion grounds, you've got a few little stalls selling hot drinks. And there's also more igloos that have popped up here. I can really smell the mulled wine. So there's another Alpine bar that just popped up. Prosecco, mulled wine, all smells very good. You can hear them popping. You can sit in some of these, um, they're not called igloos, they're called snow domes. Um, 60 pounds gets you 90 minutes. Um, and it also gets you two margarita pizzas, and either six beers, six mulled wines or a bottle of Prosecco. Oh, that's a good deal then. Yeah. So that works out to be a tenner each. It's pretty good. Good idea. Now I know the price sounds crazy, but when you spread it out over six people, that's £10. You get drinks, pizza, and somewhere nice and warm to look at the Christmas decorations as well. And you get a great view from up here as well, looking through the lower gardens and all the Christmas trees that you can see in the distance. This is a very odd Santa. He's had his face pushed in a little bit. <laughs> so if you are coming to Bournemouth and checking this out, this is here until the, uh, the 2nd of January, I think, um, to see all these Christmas trees in the lower gardens, but also take a trip up here, or round this corner, to see a few more little Christmas nuggets, as I call them. There's a couple of gingerbread men up here, and I believe another Christmas tree. We'll go and check out the, uh, the cafe that's been turned into another alpine ski resort lodge type beer garden thing and up here just by the bandstand you get the cascading lights from the trees a teddy bear and some gingerbread men look at that it looks so good and the gingerbread men with a couple of presents in front of them. Again, personally, if these were just kind of shells with lights, they wouldn't look as good, but considering they've been wrapped in tinsel, makes them stand out so much more. Now in the summer, this is one of my favorite places to grab a coffee. They normally have deck chairs out here and it's really well themed, um, but they've actually re-themed the cafe stroke bar into a little bit of an Alpine Lodge kind of look with skis, lights, rugs and everything. If you've been up here you know what I mean how this normally looks but they've got skis just there. They've rebranded it Picnic on the Piste. Look at this. There is even these little fireplaces. How cute is that? And you can come and sit up here and get cosy on one of these nice soft rugs and have a look out over the uh, the Christmas trees. And what is so great is that you can come up here, get out of the cold, have a hot chocolate and sit by your own fireplace. And how amazing is that? Could get quite comfy here. Don't really need my heated jacket to be honest. I'll keep it on though. I'm getting the feeling that not a lot of people know about this. <laughs> look at that. Gone skiing, order at the main kiosk. I was talking about fireplaces. Hang on one second because there is more here and that is what you call a fireplace. It actually goes out here as well. Look at the theming, it's really amazing. See that the attention to detail to the theming, you do feel like you're actually in 
a ski resort. It's amazing, especially with this fireplace as well. So if you come in to check out the Christmas Tree Wonderland, definitely take a trip up here to picnic on the piste. It's amazing. There's about three more Christmas trees, actually. There's one actually in the town that you can go and check out. And if you're getting a bus from Bournemouth anywhere else, maybe to Sandbanks and going back to your mansion, do check out these um, two trees up here. Right up here by the bus stops, the last two Christmas trees on our Christmas tree light trail with presents. Thanks so much for watching. If you like the video, please make sure you give it a thumbs up. Check out more of my Christmas videos around the UK and hit subscribe. Click that notification bell so you know when I upload a new video. I'll see you next time.